the significance of the look at me video of me knocking out the teacher is because I was teaching a lesson, just in case you didn't catch on to that one. That one will probably be hard to catch. But it's all basically a part of the plan. It's a sequence, I'd like to say. Hey, uh, one more thing, too. Uh, about me hanging the child. If you don't remember, there's three people hanging in the beginning. There's three people. I'm 19. Emmett Till is 14. Philando Castile being in like his 20 or 30s. But we're also children. XXL is my favorite music blog. And it, I think it's just personal. Personally, this is my personal opinion. I think it's just the greatest blog there is to go to. That's my personal opinion. Oh, sorry. Martin Luther King fought for equity with passively expressing his mind and passively walking through the streets and expressing himself. So matter, no matter how you look at this, this video is an art form. It's an art form. It's something you're supposed to take seriously. But no matter how you look at it, the three, the three to four murders I showed in the beginning were murders done by supremacists that were real. That white boy is still alive. So the people that died in the video are real. Everyone is so bothered by the child being being lynched, but whether you realize it or not, the murders in the beginning are all real. Heather Hare, uh, Emmett Till, Philando Castile, these are real murders. This Caucasian child is still alive. It's art portrayal. As far as the message, everyone feels like it's reverse racism, and really it's not. It's just reverse portrayal. So it's me basically putting the shoe on the other foot, showing another perspective. And there's a bigger message behind it, but I want you to perceive that for yourself. I just think it's important that the message is clearly received and that everyone understands that this is not a motive towards more racism. This is a motive towards equity, just showing how it feels and how wrong it feels on the other, uh, basically on the, for the other race. So I understand if you're bothered, obviously, by the child being hung because it, obviously it's done for shock value. I couldn't hang uh, a 40-year-old Caucasian man and get the same response. It's not in any shape or form a promotional method. It's just so I can emotionally bother you. It's supposed to bother you. It's supposed to make you feel wrong. It's supposed to make you feel fucked up. So that way you see what's going on is wrong. Because whether you realize it or not, a biracial child just a few days ago were, was true. Well, they attempted to hang him. I don't know the story stemming behind it, but this is still going on. And it's, and it's really sad that no one feels the need to, to take a stand and make a difference. And the only way we're going to do that is if we put our heads together and really see the bigger picture. Man, let there be peace meetings. Let there, let there, let there be uh, moments, moments of, uh, of rejoicing about the fact that obviously we're moving forward in, in this life. Let there be moments that we, we basically appreciate our prosperity as people. If, every, if everyone becomes unified and we start movements of unity, well, obviously the the hate will poke its head out. We're gonna see we're gonna see these people poke their heads out and try and ruin. They're gonna try and ruin the peace that we're keeping. And, and but with that being said, um, I apologize to anyone I've offended within the last couple of hours. Obviously, you guys know I'm going through a lot just uh, due to this case and just with a lot going on. But I understand. I, I just want to express that I understand. And with what I said yesterday, I mean, I don't retract my statement. I, I'm, I mean, I, I like to be an asshole when I want to be an asshole. But I just want to show everyone that I'm not exactly what everyone thinks I am, you know? Just picture this, trying to wake up every day uh, with a positive mindset. And you go on the internet and thousands of people are telling you to kill yourself and that you're a worthless nigger and that you're fucking stupid and calling you all types of fuck-ass shit. I've never felt the need to try and assert myself or to prove anything to anyone. But if I want to assert myself in my career or have my views respected, I realize that I have to treat everything with care and take time and have patience with people. So I'm going to be doing an interview sometime soon to not only cover my views as far as, um, as, far as the, the, the video and just my overall views, but just to explain myself to people and to give people the, the opportunity to understand me. Peace, love, prosperity, and equity is what I really truthfully want to see for this world. And I don't want for us to be the reason why we end up going through an apocalyptic state in this world. I just want to see this world maintained for years. 
sorry, not years, but, but centuries, millennials. I just want to be able to see the youth of this, of this generation, the future generations, be able to experience, obviously, what the previous generations have experienced and be able to live out their lives. It feels wrong to wake up every day and feel like the world is going to end due to our, our, our unjust leaders and unjust people that obviously rule this country. And we won't make a difference unless we take a stand as people. And I understand we cannot evolute or elevate ourselves unless there's destruction in order for creation. But destruction in order for what? Destruction in order for the prosperity of our people or destruction for just blatant destruction. In the end of the day, you don't have to like me because I understand the severity of the accusations that were made against me in the past. But regardless of that, you have to understand that I'm preaching a positive message no matter how you look at it. And that all I want for us as humans is to prosper. Again, genuinely, I apologize for not being as patient as I should be. Um, and I just want people to know that I'm not trying to lead their children down a, a, a dark uh, a dark path. And that I really want something good for the human race. With that being said, I hope everyone has a good day. Um, and go look at the video. Alright, so picture this for an alternate ending. I teach the Caucasian child. Well, I had the Caucasian child put the noose over the African American child's neck, and then I hang the African American child. That was the second. That was the second option. But there wouldn't have been enough hate in that. There wouldn't have been enough to bother you enough to basically start this uproar or remotely even try and get the message in any sort of way. Again, if you don't see the message, watch the video again. If you think that this is in support of Black Lives Matter, it's actually not. It's all lives matter. Um, if you think this is some sort of, sort of racist movement, it's not. Point being, I basically played the devil's advocate in the video by being the one to hang the child because no matter how you look at it, you can't justify the fact that I murdered the child. That's the whole fucking point. I'm trying to show you murder is murder, that, I was, that I'm wrong. If you're so bothered by the fact that we artistically uh, portrayed a murder upon a child, what about what about um, what about that kid that was hung just a week, just this week? What about him? The kids that the kids that tried to murder him aren't even charged as adults. They charge me as an adult for for my my past criminal history. What what about the kids that tried to hang that tried to hang that that biracial kid? What about them? What about Emmett Till? What about, what about the people that killed him? Why can't we have a, a day in the month dedicated to Emmett Till? Why don't we have a day dedicated to the people that were unjustly killed in America? Why don't we basically put our mistakes in order for us to move on and take a step towards the gray and gray America? We have to see the mistakes that are being made and change them ourselves. Not saying there needs to be a fucking riot or an uproar, but we need to change I'm no fucking saint. I'm 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 not Jesus, bro. But if if it took for me to call out some bullshit and for me to give out this message to actually affect something, I'll do it ten times every. Rap catch up. Who's making noise?